honored my invitation. As And you came to celebrate with me. To rejoice with me. Actually, this is not a party. But we are all here to praise God for what He's doing. So I thank my pastor for everything you've done. And I thank my moms for everything you've done. And I thank all of you who have participated in this, who have collected money, who are working on serving, and everything you have done, whether in the darkness, I didn't see it. So I praise God for that. Now I want to begin by uh, correcting something here. Steve didn't pay for my tuition. It's, it's God who paid for me. Steve was just my friend. And he became my father. He helped me in some things. But tuition was God, not Steve. School fees yali katonda na Steve. I'm sorry for that. So this is unusual. Because this is a very young church. But look at this. Look at what God is doing here. Look at all these people here. Look at this big building. So I praise God for that too. Amen. I want to continue. To thank my brother Derek for accepting to do this with me. People gave me an offer and I didn't deserve it. And like God wants us to do. We have to love each other, our brothers and sisters. And we share with them. That's why in love we are celebrating this party with my brother there. And we praise God for that. I want to share my story with you today. And I pray that as I share my story, you let the Spirit lead you and help you understand my story. And I pray to God that this story changes your life which is so long ago. Oh, everyone who is watching us live, wherever you were, this is my story. I know God began an amazing work in me. Long ago, when I was young, my mom was living with my dad and they had some problems and she left my dad what you would call maybe divorce nowadays and mom went with me to some other place and I lived with my mom there 
Later on, my mom got another uh, father. Mama wangi nafuna tato mulala And things went so well they were happy Nebita nebita mbla bulunji mama na bela musanyufu ne tato oli And uh, she was the best mom and the best wife Na bela mama mulunji ati no muchalo mulunji eli tato yo And later on in life Aluva yimalwe ti mubulamu there were some challenges Wali yo ebisomoza And those challenges led Dad to fight with my mom. And whenever they would fight, uh, I was with my young brother. My young brother was maybe around seven years old. And I was around the age of nine. So every time mom and dad would fight, my young brother would fight with my dad. And I said we don't have to fight. And me, everyone who heard my story Said I was stupid, I was coward How does your father beat your mom and you just said It was because I didn't want chaos when people are fighting or when people have problems in their marriage at my very young age I thought God put in me that there was a different solution than fighting I was called a coward. Later on, I think I was around the age of nine, I proposed to my mom that it would be nice to leave such an abusive relationship. You can imagine at nine years old, I'm proposing we leave this and go somewhere else. So after a couple of months, we succeeded with that plan. We came back to this village in 2003. And my big brother is right there. He took me to school And I started to study And then my mom started to hustle So when my mom started to hustle Paying for my fees Struggling with me People in this community, those who were there back then, they could remember. My mom used to wake me up at 3 or 4 a.m. To go with her to Nava and uh, alcohol. She used to brew alcohol. Many times in a month. And I would, uh, I would help her until morning Because someone else had to work after lunch So she had to get up early and do that So she can let the other person work as well So I would come home and go to school and study at the same time I, I struggled with my mom with all the school fees and Until I reached uh, senior 3 and when my mom was struggling, 
My aunt right here. Auntie Wangon Gumula Bon. She used to pay some of my school fees. Yali Asula Kosente. I remember that. And we used to go with my mom in the gardens and dig for people. And sometimes I would be out of school for like three, four days. Because we had a big portion and we needed money urgently for school. I'm telling you my story in senior three things got so hard I went to my pastor right here and I shared with him about that that I need to study but things are hard and he advised me he counseled me I go do something I did that something. It looked, it sounded easy. But I did it for 13 days. And I was getting nothing out of it. Why everybody here has been talking about Augustine has patience? You can look from when I was a young man persevering through everything. On the 14th day, on the 14th day, I went back in that very thing that he had told me to do. Finally, I got help. And I started. I finished university and I did a diploma. In getting that diploma in guidance and counseling, when I found a diploma, muku buda buda. I thought I, that's not what I'm supposed to do. I wasn't meant to do that. After my diploma, I went somewhere in the western Uganda. And I went to make chapati. And Mandazi. And uh, be in the garden and dig. Thinking that is where I was supposed to be. I did that for four years. At the end of it all, I got zero in four years. My brother Derek here is doing chapati. He, he, he has done it for just a few years. Yeah, he has some money. I talked to him and he, he has some money. And he, he opened up a small little shop around. Me. But I did it for four years and I got nothing. And then I came back home. That's a call. God is calling me. Come back home. Come back home. My son, I need you. When I came home, God gave me the opportunity to go do something I had done and escaped from. I did bachelor in guidance and counseling. So why am I telling you my story? At nine years old, I told my mom, you guys, when you're fighting, that's not what we're supposed to do. And I told my mom, 
if things are not working out, we you have to At eight, nine years old. So, right now, in the present uh, situation, God has revealed himself to me that he created me to be a counselor. Because when I look back in the stories at eight years old, when I was doing a counselor's job, where is God was doing a counselor's job. Praise God. You are not what I'm talking about. At nine years old, I was doing something that I'm doing right now. So God works. And he chooses us from when we were we are young. And he chose me. And then after degree, he made me dream something that has changed my life. People are watching me live right now. Because of that dream. And that dream began when I was young. So to everyone who is out here. This is my graduation party. But we are praising God. Because what he does, nobody can do it. No one. I want you to know that God's plan for your life is so big beyond what you can imagine beyond what you are going through so don't give up don't give up for two weeks when pastor told me to do something Pastor it was hard, I tell you. I can't share it with you here, so but if you come in person, way. I can share. But it was too hard. But I did it until the 14th day, and God blessed me. I have done so many videos for my channel. Some of them are dying. But I'm not giving up. Yes. Because I know God's plan is bigger than it's bigger than everything I'm going through. So I thank everybody who is right here with me. I want to thank Emmy for Africa. My fellow staff who are here. I love you guys. So I make a lot of jokes with you. When, when we are having lunch, I make you smile. Because that's my other uh, character about me. God created me to make some people happy. And, you know, not all the time we have to be men in business. You know. Like after here, I'm going to remain behind and make some people uh, laugh a little bit. Now, lastly, I want to thank my sponsors. I forgot to tell you guys that all the story I've just told you about 
gave birth to a ministry. And that ministry is called Flex the Hope. God himself gave birth to that ministry. And he wants me to use my story. He wants you to, to use your testimony. Everybody you have a testimony. Just ask God to show you that testimony. So thank you my sponsors now next. You are wonderful. And I thank uh, more than Cold Drink House. Cold Drink House. Cold Drink House. And uh, my wonderful friend Maggie. I thank my dad Steve. Uh, Mom Teresa. Mama Teresa. Charlotte. Charlotte. Everyone who has been in this amazing story. So let's continue thanking God. And praising God for what he does. Whenever he makes it possible. Lastly. Like we said, we have to thank God endlessly. We are going to celebrate another party coming up. For the, for the YouTube channel that God gave to us. We've made 1K and we're going to cut a cake. I invite you at uh, Forever Resort on Saturday. We are going to praise God and celebrate with those people who have been working with us. I thank you. I love you. I, I just don't know what to say. My knees are bad. My knees are bad. My I would kneel down to just Thank you, uh, I love you, Brian. Brian, you are a wonderful man. And God wants to use you. I've been following your story ever since I joined the university. You guys were, you know, you look younger than me. Because I was older than you guys over seven years. But we've been together, Brian. I love you, man. And uh, I just want you to uh, just say a few words. Yeah, because these guys, uh, they have made our day, Brian. Pastors, I take this opportunity thank you for all all was a blessing. But I want to get a formula to today. I got to take out in color a little formula that will live forever and forever. In color again, look me now, man. It's it's out of success. It's out of success. Precious. Oh, we make it easy. 
plus hard work no kola na mai plus uh you have fear fear of god no kia ko dikatunda and plus uh persistence no le mera ko is equal to success Very many people they tend to, to be the, uh, people with disability but I'm telling you I'm proud of my life and I'm proud of myself. I'm a counselor by profession, by experience. By experience. Thank you, my brothers. For I thank you for honoring me. I thank you for inviting me. Mm, yeah, I never saw Kumu on Lisa. Now we want to move on. We want to tell you, tell you how we are. Thank you so much. And I promise that whenever you call me, I'll be there for you. Amen. Thank you.